What's up, good people? It's your boy Jay Free coming back at you again. Um, just hitting you in light of all the stuff that's been going on with the Michael Brown shooting, um, you know, the um, protests, um, all of the change of evidence and information between social media and the media, you know, um, all of the unrest that's been going on. Um, but also, I want people to begin to pay attention to everything as a totality um, and understand that this is not just an isolated situation. Understand that this situation was not just a coincidence that it happened and begin to dig deeper and uh, see things for what they really are because um, there's definitely a power elite structure that um, has, has an intent to annihilate the melanoid people off of the earth at least as many as they can so that they can create a total world domination system and the way that they'll do this is through you know creating a situation in which they can try to impose the response or reaction of the people that way they can then enforce or manipulate the laws that they want to. Um, the system have been in place for years, centuries, you know, uh, Roman Catholicism, you know, through the um, Magna Charta and all of the uh, uh, institutions and things, the fun fundamentals that are involved in that. Um, but, you know, do the research yourself. All information I can't share online or through social media, of course. But for those who have an eye to see and an ear to hear, please hear what's being spoken and said because things are real out here. And so as we pay attention to everything that's going on, um, the location uh, of Ferguson, Missouri, and how it's near to the man who um, his had a case and murder where um, I guess that was the beginning of the Civil War, um, but also if you are involved in numerology or astrology in any sense and understand the age of the um, Aquarius and the information, understand um, as I've spoken on my other video before, if you go back and look, pay attention, talking about the pimping religion um, and, um, you know, different things of that nature, Mike Brown 3 as well, um, t explaining, you know, how um, the past ties into the future in essence of the plans that they intend or try to implement upon us you know what I'm saying and we talked about how we have been sleepwalking because it's like they broke in and they knocked us out and now we got amnesia and so we got amnesia and we become servants in our own home without any awareness that it's our own home so we think that they doing us a favor by giving us three hots in the cot. And the reason I say we think is because we, you know, that's why we accept what's being done is because we unaware. And so how this is accomplished is through a false history. And so by them taking truth history and removing it and then creating a false history, now they were able to create the present, which was then, as well as the present, which is now. So that our past is the pre it was the, uh, our past when it was their present was when the infrastructure began to be implemented and so through the lies we remain manipulated and controlled but as with the law of nature you know what I'm saying we are in the time now information as w you know where mother nature begins to speak and she begins to re reek out and so now things are beginning to be Come uncovered and so truths that were hidden are not being revealed in other words those that had amnesia are not becoming conscious and aware that wait a minute this is starting to look familiar this is my shit and they want their things back and so in the process of us becoming aware those who have hid the truth from us or from the melanoid people of course they will want to eliminate those because now if we become to knowledge that we are it's our stuff that they have once we come into knowledge of this information we become a threat to want our things back we become a threat to want to snatch it all back and so at that point when they know we come into knowledge they don't want 
that knowledge to be spread. They don't want people to become conscious. They don't want you to wake up from amnesia because now they're going to lose the comfort spot that they've created for themselves. And you have to understand because this is a worldwide plan. And so this is why what's happening here now is so important. I'm tying it all together because we got the Michael Brown, but you have to understand they tested the waters already with Trayvon and so many other instances and situations. But now we got Michael Brown, but now they, 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 I done seen a video of a brother killed in California for running from bus fare. You know what I'm saying? Shot down like a dog. Seen a video the other day, uh, yesterday and the other day where the brother uh, right there in St. Louis, just a couple miles from Ferguson, and he was shot down like a dog. And they claim he was coming with his arms in an upward motion at the police, but the video clearly revealed that his arm was in no way in an upward position. It was at his size. And I believe that police that are trained ought to be able to, you know, uh, take a man down and be able to restrain him without having to kill him. You know what I'm saying? Taser, shooting the leg, but also there's tactical moves that he they ought to be able to perform to be able to take this man down. But again, you have to understand it's a system, racism, white supremacy. And so it's about mind state and psychology as well. This is where the indoctrination, religion, Christianity, all of these things come into play as to why people allow things to happen that are being allowed. Like I say, amnesia, sleepwalkers, because we allow things to happen because we're unaware. And this is where the religion talks about where there is no knowledge, people perish. Truths are still here and the lie because truths are those that are laws of nature and so laws of nature stand the test of time just as I've said as well before you know what I'm saying the bible of religion says that you ought to know the tree by the fruit it bears but it's not a bible saying that's a law of nature a law of nature is that every tree will produce fruit after its own kind that's just the law of nature you can't get an orange off an apple tree I don't care what color you try to paint the apple to try to make it look like an orange I don't care what you do you will always get an orange and if you do get an uh, if you do get an apple excuse me off of an orange tree or an orange off of an apple tree then something's wrong with that tree and that tree is definitely it is I, I, it's impossible to produce that's the law of nature and so I say America as an institution founded upon religion upon Christianity and Christianity being its foundation and its root principle I say look out the window and tell me what the fruit is that she bears because the fruit I see is poverty the fruit I see is violence wickedness scattered abroad you see what I'm saying so many things that are wrong that I see out of my window and it's not necessary there's enough resources for everything and everybody there's enough food we throw food away then there's those that have resources as in money that could solve everybody's problems I'm talking about money that you know, we but money is, 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 as they call it, fiat, it's unnecessary anyway. So we won't even go into that because money unnecessary. It's something that's been created. The resources that we need for life are all natural, including love and companionship, family. All of those things are all naturally given to us within the community setting. But again, the lies that have been perpetuated. So as we tie everything that's going on now, we got Michael Brown. We got all of this stuff that's going on in the timing. You got to understand they been supplying the police departments with military equipment since like 2005, 2006. They've been supplying police departments with this military equipment, preparing for something. They've also been setting up and preparing FEMA caps, preparing for something. You understand what I'm saying? And then we've had the war since 9-11 because they've been preparing for something. And they started a war over there, but if you have knowledge and understanding, you know that what they tell you the war is about over there is not really what it's about. It's not about oil. They ain't fighting over oil. Oil you grow from the earth. That's that's earth's blood. She bleeds oil. You. So they're not fighting over oil. You. That's that's a lie. It's it's deeper than that. But. When you tie all of those things together and look at the timing we're in now, because now we got ISIS, we got uh, Malaysia planes coming up missing and getting shot down. We got uh, all kind of catastrophes. We I don't need to go into them. Anybody that pay attention and listen to news and watch, you can see everything that's going on. But when you tie it all in together, now like we got Ebola here. They done brought Ebola here. Now understand, if you're going to get to 
to infiltrate you know the community with Ebola since they already done genetically engineered Ebola and we know Ebola only existed in Africa that means nobody can just mysteriously pop up in America and just all of a sudden have Ebola so they have to find a way to make it explainable when people start attracting the disease so they sent it over here and where did they send it to the strongest black population and pretty much possibly in the country maybe you know Texas or California I don't know but I know Atlanta got a strong population of African Americans and they sent the uh, Ebola virus down there, as well as North Carolina, as well as San Francisco, California. And now they've released the man and saying that, you know, he'd been healed of the Ebola virus. He don't no longer have it. And so now you got it here in the country and you got it now, you know, spread out. And so now when they begin to release the chemtrails, which already be responsible for cancer and so many other things that happen to people on the regular as they try to control weather and so many other things, which is why you got fake and artificial snow that's been coming up through the year and a couple years. And so while all of this is going on and while they got all of this now, they can take Ebola and also in, in, infiltrate that within the chemtrails. So now, I'm, you know, it's just theory. I'm just throwing thoughts out there. But now... If people start attracting Ebola, now it can be explained. Oh, maybe he, we, the gentleman we thought was healed from Ebola, now he no longer has Ebola. I'm not sure what type of lie they would use, but you know, we, it's they're very strategic, and I don't believe that um, this is a coincidence. What's going on in our country right now? I believe that it's a plan that they implemented, but they're trying to cause a reaction. But the reaction so far has been smart. They've even been infiltrating the protests, and through infiltrating the protests, they've been trying to even spark more in, in unrest between the, the, the protesters and the police by having people infiltrate and throw rocks and stuff at the police. You see what I'm saying? Like so many different things that they're doing. Um, the verbiage that's being used through the news media and so many other things, the, the divide that they're trying to cause between even within our own communities, you know, fighting amongst ourselves. So much is evidence of what they're trying to do. And then even in some of the movies where they be, you know, doing, um, you know, symbolism and stuff, revealing information through the movies and whatnot. In some of the, in most of the movies like Planet of the Apes, World, uh, End of the World, uh, uh, so many of the movies, when you see them, they all it, they always include that the you know like I am legend and stuff is always involve a disease a threatening disease as well as a mixture of war um, before they entered into you know whatever stage that exists now that such a catastrophic event done took place you know like I say I am legend uh, book of Eli um, you know, um, uh, Mad Max, some Thunderdome, Waterworld, all this different type of stuff. You know, but you know, the the movies that show life in an in an event after you know um, uh, this catastrophic event. And I'm just pointing out, like I say, it can all be theory, but you got to pay attention to what's going on and what they're trying to do. It's a plan. We are awakening as a people. They only present represent one third of the world's population. We are waking up as a people on the world level consciousness, and they are trying to thwart that effort. That way they can maintain world domination. They want to wipe us out, and then they want to create colonization around the world and control us, kind of like movies like Hunger Games, you know, Divergent, different things of this nature. They want us colonized in what they call a perfect society, like eugenics or whatever introduces. And so you have to begin to pay attention and understand that they are strategic in what they're doing. I'm speaking on theory based off a vision that I can see tying pieces together. I'm not there behind the scenes to know everything that's going on. But if we would pay attention, look and think and dig deeper, I'm sure that we can begin to uncover these truths and see what's going on. My thoughts are we need to begin to come together on local basis and we need to begin to immobilize. We need to begin to strap up and we need to begin to make a stand. I don't believe that Ferguson, Missouri is going to cease and I don't believe that we should cease because because what they've been doing to us for so long has been going on for too long, 400 years and plus, and it's, it needs to stop. It has to stop. It cannot continue. I'm pleading with my people. We, we can't continue it. Those that want to remain blind and continue to be sleepwalkers lost in religion when so much evidence is visible to us in this day and age, so much information is available now, and so many actions in front of us are making things visible. Like I say, just look at the truth and know it by its fruit. 
and the, the fruit of Christianity on a world basis is not bearing fruit. I'm talking about a tree. Christianity is the, is the foundation of this country. So if it look when you look at this country and look at the state that this country is in, you can see that Christianity is bearing no fruit as a religion at all. It, it bears no fruit. The fruit is a lie. And so if we are to follow what we claim to be followers of, if we're going to be Christians... If you claim to be a Christian, even yourself within your religion, um, like I say, you, you must begin to pay attention. This is why he said, for a lack of where there is no knowledge, my people perish. He said, with their lips they do honor me, but their hearts are far from me. He said, for they follow not the commandments of God, but they teach for doctrines. They teach for doctrines the commandments of men. You see what I'm saying? They, you, he said that they, they would have itching ears and they would heap teachers for themselves. You see what I'm saying? It's so easy to follow the status quo. It don't. It requires, you claim to be faith walkers. It requires no faith to follow what everybody's doing. Christian is the popular religion of the entire war, world because it's been imposed on the world. So you're not a faith walker following Christianity, but to actually dig deeper into the root of what the word says itself, because again, I say there are truths in the Bible. So if you begin to dig in and find the truths within the word itself and to begin to uncover truths about history and about who you are yourself and who we are as a people and begin to reestablish yourself and try to get back to that place of knowledge and supreme knowledge, wisdom and understanding and begin to get back to this place. You see what I'm saying? And then put this foolishness aside, then we can begin to achieve on a higher level and not be subject to, you know, the, the constraints that religion has put on us. And that's that, that's a point because we have to see what's going on. That's what I'm saying. We got to localize. We got to immobilize. We got to strap up. We got to make a stand. And we got to begin to, to let them know that we're not falling for the trap. But we got to do it on a big scale because I believe that if we don't, what they have in place is, is major. Man, they, I mean, World War Three just about about to pop off. Real talk. So we got to begin to pay attention, man, to see what's going on out here. It's your boy Jay Free. I see. I'm not blind. Y'all be easy.